Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we are looking to use the product rule twice to prove that the derivative of fgh is equal to this expression. So just writing it out right here. It might not be super clear how to do this, but what we're going to do is we're going to say f is going to be one of our functions in the product rule and gh is going to be the other. And then we're going to have to do the product rule twice because when we're finding the derivative of gh, we're going to have to do the product rule again. So, we have the first, which is f, times the derivative of the second, plus the second, gh, times the derivative of the first, which is f. So, we have f, that's fine, and then again, this is where we're doing the product rule twice. Now, our, with the product rule, we're dealing with is g and h, so we are taking the first times the derivative of the second, plus the second times the derivative of the first. And then this is plus the same um, g h f prime. Uh, I'm going to rearrange this plus f prime g h because that's the form that it's in in this thing. It's ordering f g h instead of putting the derivative term at the end. But it doesn't really matter. If you don't notice that until the end, that's fine. But distributing, we get f g h prime plus f g prime h, again, making sure it goes f g h, right? But this is f h g prime, I'm just rearranging it. Again, just distributing here, plus f prime g h. Now we're adding these three terms and I'm going to rearrange them, not actually change anything, just rearrange them into the order that they are in, in the given expression which is basically swapping this one and this one, which gives us f prime g h plus f g prime h plus f g h prime. So this has proved the statements that we were asked to solve in the part a, and therefore taking f equals g equals h show that this statement is true. So in this area, we have f cubed and this is equal to f times f times f. And this is basically saying, okay, f equals g equals h. This is just f times g times h, except g is equal to f and h is also equal to f. So here we have f, 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 right? f times f times f, and this is equal to the first f times the second f times the third f, plus the first f times the derivative of the second f times the third f, plus f, the first f times the second f times the derivative of the third f. And this is f squared times the derivative of f plus f times f is another f squared times the derivative of the f plus another f squared times the derivative of f. And if we think of these as all like terms, right, since this is just f of x times f of x times f prime of x. Think of those as just variables, and we have three of them. So one of them plus another of them plus a third of them is going to be three f squared f prime. And just to get this into the form of the original function, we have f times f times f. So that's f of x cubed, and we're taking the derivative Instead of using the little prime symbol, it uses d, dx, right? But that's the same thing. So this is equal to this. And this is equal to 3 f of x squared, f squared, right? f of x squared times the derivative of f. So this is the same as this. And if you're wondering why I didn't use the forms that it was giving us in the um, sample expression, it's just easier to write FFF instead of F of X, F of X, F of X. But if that makes it more clear for you, then when you solve it yourself, you can do that. And then use part B to differentiate Y equals E three to the X. So Y equals E three to the X. This is equivalent to E to the X cubed. Um, so this is the same thing as this, except e to the x 
is f of x in this scenario. So f of x equals e to the x. Therefore, the derivative of e to the x cubed, since we're trying to find the derivative of this, the derivative of e3 to the x, because I will keep it in the form that it was given in the original problem, this is the derivative of e to the x cubed, which by using part b, we know, is equal to 3 times f of x, which in this case is e to the x squared, times the derivative of f of x. Well, f of x is e to the x. The derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, so this is e to the x. So, last step, we have 3 times e to the x squared times another e to the x. So that's e to the x cubed, and this is equal to 3e to the x times 3 when you're taking a power of a power and you multiply the exponents. So we get 3e to the 3x. And this is equal to y prime. This is the derivative of y. And we haven't learned it yet in this by this point in the textbook, but this is equivalent to taking the derivative of e to the x saying, okay, this is e to the a, right? Where a is equal to 3 of x, 3x. So the derivative of e to the a is just e to the a, except e to the a is equal to 3x, right? So the problem here is this not, the derivative is not just e to the 3x, it's e to the 3x times, and this is where the rule that you haven't learned yet comes in, times the derivative of the exponent, which is a linear term, so it's 3, and that's where that 3 comes in. That's just a rule that you can take forth now because you've proved it in 61. But as always, thank you for liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.